Hey, Nops up here, and I am, that's the leather, that was the leather. I am at work, just finishing up. I work at a place called Flight Test, youtube.com slash flight test. We do all kinds of airplane videos and all that stuff. It's where I do a lot of video shooting and editing. But I wanted to show you the lighting setup that we use. This is one of them. And if you take a look at this thing, it's just a workshop light. It looks kind of fancy, but it pretty much is exactly what you'd expect. The only fancy thing on this thing is this GoPro sticker. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this on a GoPro Hero 4 in like 4K. There's absolutely no reason to be in 4K right now, but I thought I'd do it anyways. But I wanted to show you, we just had this thing zip tied. We've been using this for about, I don't know, three years now. And as you can see, it's on a light stand. This light stand booms up to about probably 10 to 11 feet, I'm not sure. But let me show you what this looks like with this setup. Thought it was gonna cut. Let's cut. Oh no! Oh. So there it is. This is what it looks like with the mixed ceiling lights. I'm gonna shut these ceiling lights off in a second, but I just wanna show you. These are just two basic bay lights. And the numbers on this, SB65 ECO, I don't even know what that means. Daylight balanced. All right, let's shut up these overheads. Shut them up. So this is the lighting and I'm standing about uh, three and a half feet away from the lights. And as you can see, as I move further away, you can get an idea of uh, just how bright it is. And just kind of the effect it gives. Obviously, if I'm standing on one side, it gives me a side light. And this is full front facing on the light. You can even go backlighting this thing. Let's just do it. Now it's behind me. Obviously, this is on the GoPro, so you're not getting the exact quality as it does its auto contrast and adjustment like that. But I wanted to show you just what it looks like. All right, let's turn the lights back on. All right, there it is. We got mixed lighting in here, so it's all over the place. But this gives us a nice solid, I don't know, four and a half feet worth of paneled light coming from one source. And it's been working out really well. Super simple setup. The only custom thing that we did on this was just extend the extension cord here. And that's just as easy as wiring it in and just using those little wire nuts. Just get one on each and you're good to go. This setup probably will cost you about $25 total, depending on if you need a light stand that goes 11 feet or whatever size. I would recommend if you're gonna use a big fluorescent light setup, get yourself a light stand that's pretty sturdy. All right, that's all, going home. Quick effects, go make something. Quick effects.